Hey guys, we are continuing our series today of things to do in Chattanooga. Today, we are close to the Walnut Street Bridge and the Glass Bridge here at the Art Museum. So we're gonna walk around, show you that, show you all the areas you can walk around and just kinda go on a nightly stroll or a daily stroll, whatever you wanna do. Come on, join us. Currently, they are doing some construction over here to the Hunter Museum, uh, but eventually, this will be open for you to come and to chill, have a good time. Um, but right now, they're working on construction. We're gonna see if we can get through and show you some of the sites here in this area. This little gazebo that we were standing under, you can actually uh, see at night it's lit up. It is a really cool thing. Here's some of the construction work that they're doing right now. Looks like they're reforming the front there. Get that done. So if you're coming up here, this is how you can get in here now, is the museum entrance. Museum entrance is this way. Some of the art that they have here, right outside of the building. It's unique. Pretty cool. It is a cool thing that they have out here that you can actually come and look at this. We're not actually going into the Hunter Museum today because it is actually closed today. But here is a look at the layout of what it looks like. They have the West Wing, East Wing. This was actually built back in 1905. You can tell by how old the building is. There it is right there built in 1905 you can tell it has some wear and tear on the building around the windows so you can see where some of the paint is starting to fade where it's older stuff like that I don't know if these are the original doors or not I would think so they do look old at least at least from a while ago and here is one of the other structures that sits out here looks like some french fries but uh, this is actually called Largo. It was done by John R. Henry. And uh, this was painted, painted aluminum in 1981 is when it was done. And the museum purchased it also in 1981, but later on in that year. That's some nice little shaded areas for you to sit under just enjoy the museum and enjoy the area here it's very nice here's another sculpture called free money by tom otterness built in 2001 and the museum actually bought it in 2007 that's pretty cool come up to the museum here are the hours they're closed on tuesdays wednesdays and uh, the rest of the week they're open. $20 for admission. Angie and I will have to come back and do this sometime. As you can kind of see inside there. That's cool. They do have a gift shop that you can go in. You can't really see anything because everything's dark in there. Here's another sculpture. Now, you would think this is made out of tree branches, right? but or wood but as angie pointed out to me it is actually made of cast iron cast iron and uh, i did touch it and feel it it's true <laughs> it's cast iron it is not wood but this is pretty cool because it does look like a horse and this was actually done by deborah butterfield in 2001 and uh, the museum purchased it in 2002. All right, coming to one of my favorite areas here. This is where a lot of people like to take pictures. A lot of uh, senior prom pictures are done right here. Wedding photos, all that kind of stuff. But this is one of the cooler lookouts here in Chattanooga. No pun intended. Right over top this overlook. Coming to the edge here, you can definitely see the Walnut Street Bridge. 
that's the famous bridge you always see associated with Chattanooga. And here it sits. You can actually walk this bridge if you would like to, ride your bike across it, or do whatever. It's nice, it's a nice little area. Zooming in over here, you can actually see Coolidge Park right across the bridge there. That's something else that we will do in the future. Um, they do have like a carousel and just little areas to sit and relax. It's really nice over there, but we will do that in the future for sure. But this is one of my favorite areas here in this city just to look at and to chill. So they do have some of this area blocked off that we can't get to right now because of construction. But I have walked up and down this many times down here. And it actually goes underneath the bridge there. And the road used to be able to take the road above here, but you can't now because they have it locked off. So um, that's pretty cool. We're going to go over here across the bridge area and take a look at what um, is being done here or what they do have open. Okay, so what I'm about to show you actually used to be a glass bridge. They have replaced it. Um, I don't know why. And uh, it could be that it had a crack on it or something like that. Uh, but it looks like they don't have any plans on bringing it back, I don't think. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It's kind of disheartening, kind of discouraging because it was really cool looking like it had like a bluish tint to it and they had lights that lit up underneath it if you know drop down in the comments and let me know if this is gonna come back or not all right this is what it looks like now you can clearly see and no more glass but it is just like a steel frame here and that's it And it goes right over the uh, highway here. You see there. A lot of construction going on. So you can't really do anything in this area like you would. You can get around it, you can go around, but there's the bridge there. Let's take a look at some of the construction going on. Yeah, the construction area here. I'm building more onto it. You can see the bridge itself. It's going to eventually extend all the way down like so. But my suspicions were correct. No intention of bringing the glass back, I don't think. Just for a point of reference, that's where we just came from. Right over there. Here's the bridge right here. All right, so it's not here. It's not as cool as it used to be. There are some restaurants down there you can go and chill and eat, but it's cool. I hope they bring it back. I don't know if they will or not, but it would be cool to see it. So yeah, I don't know how I feel. All right, so that was our look at this area. The glass bridge is no longer a glass bridge. The Hunter Museum and the walnut bridge so that's it for us today god bless you guys make sure you subscribe hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out god bless you and remember the road goes ever on